I can't believe it. You really think I would resort to slipping pornographic photographs under someone's door? I think you're capable of anything. Oh, I won't deny I would like to see you leave Houston for good. I'm sure you would. But give me a little credit. If I set my heart on doing something, I'd make sure I did it in a more orthodox fashion than slipping photographs under your door. Oh, I give you plenty of credit, Iris. I'm certain that if you have a copy of those photos, you have a copy of the film, too, and I want to know what you intend on doing with it. I don't have the photographs or the film. I don't make a habit of bringing pornography into my home, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't come forcing your way in here making accusations like that. I don't know what you're planning, Iris, but I'm not going to let you get away with it. I'm not planning anything, and I don't respond to threats. Now, I suggest you leave before I have you thrown out. Vivian! I'm warning you, Iris. If you're involved in this in any way... Show I... this woman to the door. Did Mrs. Carrington find out about that party Dennis says he's going to throw to embarrass her? Not exactly. And I wish you wouldn't call her Mrs. Carrington. Paige and my son are divorced. That's still her legal name, isn't it? She upset you, didn't she? No, not really. It's Dennis who's upset me and that dreadful party of his. Is there any way to put this party off? How can you even ask that? I just wondered. I thought there was something we could do. Everyone is already invited. I mean, what would I say? You know it's impossible to cancel now. What are you going to do then? All I can do is try to get my hands on that... That what? Don't you think it's about time you told me the truth about this party, Mrs. Wheeler? Just what is it that Dennis is going to do that's going to embarrass Mrs. Carrington at this party? I can't discuss that with you. Why not? Because you'd be too shocked. Well, I'm going to be at the party, and if you don't get some help in stopping Dennis, we're all going to be shocked. You're right. You remember all the talk about the pornographic film that Paige made? The one Chris Shaw wanted you to give him a million dollars for? That's right. What about it? Dennis is planning to show that film at the party. Uh, we've got to stop him. You're the one who's going to give the party. How do you think you're going to live that down? I know we have to stop him. How? Somehow, we have to find that film and put another one in its place. Oh. How are you doing, Vivian? My mother here? Uh, no, she went to the World Oil Building for a board meeting. She left already? Well, yeah. Aren't you supposed to be there, too? I just came by to see if she needed a lift. She and Mr. Wheeler went together. Well, in that case, I better get a move on. I don't want to be late. Dennis! My boat. I... I just want to talk to you a minute about your and Mrs. Wheeler throwing this party tonight for Mr. Carrington. Where's Dennis? Oh, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. Are you sure that you want to go through with this plan of making me chairman of the board of World Oil? You're Alex's brother. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily follow that I become chairman of his company. I think Alex would have wanted it that way. But do you want it that way? I mean, after all, you and Dennis each own a third of the company. That's the controlling stock. I have great faith in you, Grant. You've been handling all my personal finances since Alex died. Well, I appreciate and that. And you've but... done an excellent job with the banks you own. At the moment, I think you are the person best suited for the job. With the exception of Ryan Connor. He's refused to come back to the company. I think he could still be persuaded to no. come. No, I'm afraid not. Anyway, I think things have worked out fairly well, all things considered. Something is bothering you. I'll be all right. Is it the meeting? No, no. 
Is it the party tonight? Why do you say that? Well, I know what a perfectionist you can be. I'm a little worried. With all the entertaining that you've done? Every party has its own problems. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. From what I've heard about all the preparations, I'm sure that Elliot's going to have a fine surprise. I wish the other people would get here so we could get started with this meeting. Couldn't have gotten any work done knowing the state you were in. Did you see Iris? What did she say? She denied everything, of course. Did you tell her about the publicity stills? She said she knew nothing about them. Elliot, what am I going to do? Well, the first thing you're going to do is try not to be so upset. Someone has a copy of that film, I know. No, you don't know that. And he's going to use it against me. Paige, don't get yourself worked up like this. Whoever slipped those photos under my door must have a copy of the film, too. Not necessarily true. Don't forget that Chris Shaw was asking Iris for a million dollars for that film. What does that prove? Well, if there'd been other copies of the film floating around, I don't think his price would have been that high. And Chris Shaw's copy of the film is in the district attorney's possession. But how did he get the stills? I don't know. And why is he slipping it under the door? I can't answer that either. I don't have the answers, Paige. But I'm going to try to get them. How? I'll talk to someone in the film lab at KVIK and see where you could go to reproduce photographs of that kind or a movie. Do you really think that that would help? Well, they deal with all the film labs in Houston. If that doesn't turn up anything, then I'll, I'll think of something else. But we will work it out some way. This isn't going to take very much of your time. I just wanted to talk to you about the preparations I've made for this party. So sit down a minute. Just a minute. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the party is an excellent hand. Now, Mrs. Wheeler tells me that this is a party to honor Mr. Carrington. That's right. But he doesn't know anything about it. No, 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 no. You see, Dad thinks that Vicky's taking Paige and him to dinner to honor him for the journalism <laughs> award he won for the documentary he did. But the thing is, Dad doesn't know that anyone else is going to be there. Oh, but and Mrs. Wheeler says that you're going to show this documentary at the party. I am, yeah. Oh, I just think that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm certainly glad you approve. So I was wondering, since I'm in charge of everything else, if you'd like me to be in charge of showing that documentary. Uh, well, that's nice of you to offer, but it's uh, already been taken care well, of. Well, it's no trouble to it's me. It's already been arranged, to do it. Vivian. Oh. Now, is there anything else? Mm -mm. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you about something else that's been on my mind, uh, and that is... What? I thought maybe you would need a housekeeper. A housekeeper? Yes, because ever since you and Paige and Mr. Car Mrs. Carrington were separated and everything, I've been very worried about you cleaning your own apartment. Well, I, I don't mind. It's not well, that big. I don't mind either, and I don't think it's something that a man should have to do. You're not a... Mel Chauvinist, are you? Well, I don't, I don't know what that means, but I've got some time right now. And what I was thinking, if you gave me the keys to your apartment, I could go right over there and get started on it while you were at that board meeting. Well, that's nice of you to offer, but uh, let me think about it. Right now, I don't think the apartment uh, needs any cleaning. But uh, uh, if Mom calls, look, just tell her that I'll be there as, as soon as I can, all right? Sorry, Mrs. Wheeler, I tried. I really did.